The opening tip won by the Lakers as we get started here at Staples Center. Gets to the basket and scores. No doubt about where that one was headed. Now it's Harden at the controls from long range. And James Harden, well defended, still gets it to go down. The challenge defending a guy who can be a one or a two. We're not old men talking about this game. We don't define players by positions anymore. Is he a one or is he a two? No, he's James Harden. He is a scorer and an elite passer. It's James. His first effort off the mark. Throws it up. Harden. Let's it fly from beyond the arc and drains it. Woo. That pass speaks for itself. There's nothing more to say about that one. Wow. JaVale McGee to ball. Beyond the arc for three. Drains it. I mean, does he have eyes in the back of his head or what? I get paid money to watch and study this game daily. Even I didn't see that angle. Ball with it up top. Leads just a point. Harden to Capella. Gets it in the right corner. Going to launch beyond the arc. Tucker, dead on three-point shooter. Tough to guard. Well, the defense has been good, but the shot-making ability has been better. And sometimes for NBA players at this level, the more you're in their face, the more it helps them center their focus on the target, which is making the shot. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it's a real thing. Here. Paul. It's LeBron with the rebound. To Ball. Oh, Lonzo Ball. Two for two. That's what you want. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul. But take it when you can get it. To P.J. Tucker. For three. And made his first couple, but he misses there. To Ball. Fires the three. Cleaning the offensive glass. Basket's good on the follow. Way to stay with it. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. It's hard. Brings the ball up to Capella. Has a chance. Tucker with a shot that misses. JaVale McGee to James. Off the mark. He's made those before, but that was well defended. Harden in possession. They can get a two for one if they play this right. To ball. Here's a chance from long range. He made his first effort, but not that time. To Paul. Let's it fly from long range. Shot off the mark. Good defense. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. McGee powers it through. An easy two. Get back on defense. Harden. It's good. Coach wants to see more from his D. It's all about creating space with the dribble. Once you have that gap, you can beat somebody in a variety of ways. He chose a dagger with the three. That's it for the first quarter, with the Rockets in front. One quarter down, long way to go. So, buckle up, it's wide open. Well, both teams had their rhythm. They established the tempo that they wanted to play at. But ultimately, something has to give. Some team has to draw a line in the sand. It's good. Not necessarily his comfort zone. They dared him. He scores. What a pass. I have no clue how that ball even made it through the traffic. Kuzma driving, but a shot won't go. And you see so many players quit on the play after they were beat the first time, but not him. He stayed on his hip, he fought back, and he made the player miss the shot. That's great defense. To Josh Hart. James. To Kyle Kuzma. Fires the three. Good contest. Made it tough for Kuzma. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Right time. Right player. Can't teach height. To ball. Oh, Lonzo ball. That's three now on four shots. Harden with it up top. 
A minute gone by in this second quarter. Well defended. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. To Capella. Paul. Goes to the right side. And a whistle. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. Tucker. Harden. Wide open look. Won't go. I don't know why he rushed that shot. He was wide open. Take your time. He's denied. That kid can block out the sun, man. And that's rebounded by Houston. It's Kuzma up to block the shot. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. LeBron James, 2-4 now. Surprised to say the least, I know I didn't expect LeBron to be back in the 2-1-6. But as we know, we should come to expect the unexpected with him every time. So the first points for him in this first half, and he knocks it down for three. Yeah, they really need him to get going. Really surprised that none of his teammates have been talking to him. This is when he needs him the most. They have to uplift him, help him continue to be confident on the court. Kuzma to James. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. LeBron James at the line for a chance at a three-point play for his career, 73%. The free throw is good. It's back to a one-point game. Ball into the front court. He'll run the offense. And a whistle. Just a tic-tac foul. First one, count it. Goes two for two. Ball with the basketball. The margin is three as we approach halftime. To Josh Hart. Slam dunk. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. Lonzo Ball with the rock. A shot rejected by Capella. That's out. Last touch by Josh Hart. It stays with Houston. And too much contact. A simple touch foul. He connects on the first free throw. Goes two for two at the line. Deep three at the buzzer. That's it. First half has come to an end. The Rockets with the lead. to go here in the second half. The third quarter is underway. Rockets in control of the basketball. Harden not getting the bounce. Probing the defense. And now he's going to shoot a few more as he's fouled going up for it. Ed, the reality is that good jump shooters know how to get those calls. Overall, though, there's less flopping in the game, which is great. But there's something uncanny about certain players' abilities to get those calls on a regular basis. Knocks down the first. And he makes them both. Oh, you've been in the gym, huh? 
Now Paul with the basketball. Hey, up five to Capella. Oh, you could sense that coming. Mm, there is a premium market for players with that type of hand-eye coordination. And James Harden, not sure why he was so wide open there. And the three-point shot of the offense applies so much pressure on the defense, you can no longer build your teams inside out. The new way, you build your team outside in. LeBron James, he's now four for six. Mm, I remember my high school coach said, one man can't beat five. Well, I'm telling you right now, he lied. I'm watching it happen in person. Bizarre shot right there. Shot's no good. JaVale McGee to James. Straight down the middle of the lane. Way to punch it home. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. Ball. Can't connect. It's no good. Kuzma to ball. A bad pass as the Rockets come away with it. Here's your chance to break this thing wide open. Lakers ball. Ball lobs it up. Gets it in the left corner. Paul. Great defense, forcing the miss. His scoring has definitely cooled off, but you have to give the defense some credit. They're denying him the ball and really making him work once he catches it. Capella. Deep left corner. Harden. And that's off the side of the rim, short. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. To Harden. Capella. Knocked loose. Stays in bounds. Really good hustle. Paul. No good. To James. Paul into the front court. Leads four. Oh, oh, denied. As my old teammate RJ would say, stay down, clown. That's blocked by Capella. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Tucker to Capella. Collins Capella. It's been a quiet night. Only three attempts, but he makes that one stick. So many times you can tell if a player is going to finish before he even gets to the rim. Did you see that look on his face? That was a look of a three-point play. You always going in thinking you can get more at the rim. Lakers have it. That ends the third quarter with the Rockets in front. It'll be Lakers ball as we begin the fourth quarter. They trail to this point, but you'd have to say this one's up for grabs. And the new style we play with in this league, all it takes is three quick threes and you're right back in the ball. And throws it down. Mm -hmm. We call that get your money and put it in the bank. <laughs> Lonzo with it. His club staring up at an eight-point deficit. Paul, knock loose. Lakers come up with it. And watch him do the rest. Slam dunk. I mean, defense, is it that easy? Can I see some reaction after somebody gets an easy dunk? Some yelling, some kind of emotion? I need you to get involved back in this ballgame. Kuzma matched up with P.J. Tucker. Calls out of bounds. Last touch by Kyle Kuzma. Harden to P.J. Tucker. 4-3. Always has a chance for Tucker, but not that time. LeBron into the front court. The deficit is six. Knocked loose. Looking for his man. Throws it down off the alley-oop pass. Ah, oh, Jay, no question. There's an unspoken bond there. Just on the same wavelength. And how about this? Sometimes a bad pass is a great pass when you have somebody as athletic as that that can catch that anywhere and slam it down. Paul. And that's rebounded by the Lakers. To ball. 
Oh, Lonzo Ball. Now four for nine. Big shout out to the athletic trainer for this team. It's obvious you've been doing all the preparation required of your team in the weight room in the offseason. Flex on them a little bit. To Kyle Kuzma. Ball. Great hustle. That's what you like to see. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. So many times we get on the defender for, quote-unquote, letting the offensive player score on an and one. Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions. Free throw, good to finish off the three-point play. It's back to a five-point game. To P.J. Tucker. Knocked loose. Lakers have it. Hart. Rockets have the steal. Don't play scared now. Let's push the ball. Let's get this lead up. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. Clint Capella trying to cash in on a three-point play. A career 48% free throw shooter. Missed it at the line. To ball. Oh, Capella. Oh, he just blocked that shot out of bounds. Okay, yeah, they're lucky they get the ball back. Kuzma. James buries it on the catch and shoot. Just because someone is listening to you doesn't mean that they actually hear you. At the end of the game, when players get tired, they listen to what the assignment was, but they didn't hear what it was. And Chris Paul, he's been doing that for years. Wide open look, and he buries it. Ooh, that confidence level is so superior. Whenever you start jacking back on defense before the ball even goes through the net, that speaks for itself. James to Kyle Kuzma. From long range, and he can't get it to go down. It's no good. And there's always so much talk about defense. How about offensively? If you continue to attack that shooter, now you're making him work on the defensive end that makes him take his legs away on the offensive end. Count it, and the foul. He is going to the line for a free throw. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. Free throw is good to finish off the three-point play. That slices the lead down to four. Rockets have the ball. Harden. Oh, he couldn't get it to go. Count the basket, and it could have been more. No whistle. Deep three at the buzzer. It's the Rockets who are victorious as they win a close one by two.